This is Joe Dellier from the Palo Alto Networks community team bringing you a Palo Alto Networks video. In today's video, we'll be talking about the changes in PanOS 7.1, URL filtering, dynamic block list, or external block list. What you'll learn in this video, you'll learn what's changed inside PanOS 7.1 in regards to the dynamic block list, the requirements, hardware specs, and how to configure dynamic block list. What has changed? In earlier versions of PanOS, dynamic block lists, or also known as EDL, or external dynamic list, or also external block list, EBL, allowed a firewall administrator to block a list of IP subnets or ranges based on an external file containing a list of the IPs that you wanted to have blocked. Starting with PanOS version 7.1, dynamic blocking has become easier than ever with the introduction of URLs as a separate list type. The requirements for the dynamic block list is that each URL list is treated as a category using the name of the list as the category name. Those categories are available in URL filtering profiles and in the security rules. Updates can be set to 5 minutes hourly, daily, weekly or monthly. If a five minute interval is set, only changes to the list contingent will trigger a commit and only once per hour. If the list is updated on the external site but it is not seen on the local firewall, check the audit and candidate config to see if new items has been pulled to the list. The URL list can be hosted on an HTTPS site. All validation will be checked, CA validation, CN, SAN check, expiration check, and OCSP and CRL. List format requirements. The list must be a plain text document. There is no HTML or PDF file allowed. The scheme is optional. It will be truncated if found, even if it is incomplete. HTTP colon slash slash in front of the IP or URL is not needed. Wildcards are supported. It can be like asterisk.example.com slash hacked slash asterisk or www.example.net slash wp dash asterisk slash debug, whichever. It can be utilized in many ways. Maximum length per line is 1,024 characters. The double byte characters is not supported. Also, if specifying a domain, use both formats as with the custom URL categories, you'll have to use example.com as well as asterisk.example.com if you want to have everything before that domain. You want to catch the entire domain. For the hardware specs for all PA200s, PA500s, PA2000 series, 3000 series, 4000 series, and all PAVM platforms, can have a total of 30 lists combined with IP and DNS and URL, can contain 50,000 IPs total with no individual list limitation, and 50,000 total DNS and URLs combined with no limit per list. On the PA5000 and 7000 series, it has the same limitation of 30 lists, but you have 150,000 IPs total with no individual list limitation and 50,000 total DNS and URLs combined, no limit per list. If more than the maximum 50,000 URLs is used, the firewall will use the first 50,000 and truncate the list. A system log is generated if this happens. Now on to how to configure an external dynamic list. Looking inside of the GUI here, to create a new external list, navigate to the Objects tab, then to the External Dynamic Lists, and then we hit Add. For the name here, we can add, as we had in the article, is Bad Mojo. The list type, we have options for IP list, domain, or URL, as this example will show for the URL. Source end is an example, just how to repeat. We do see the options I've mentioned before, hourly, five minute, daily, weekly, monthly. And if you needed to hit this test source URL to test it to see if you're able to connect and get this list. 
To use or to create a new URL filtering profile, go inside of Objects and then inside URL Filtering. Inside of here, you will see if you want to create a new URL filtering profile, click Add, and you'll notice in the category, if you scroll to the very bottom, you'll see that Bad Mojo that we just created is listed at the bottom with a plus, indicating that it is a custom category and the action is allowed by default for a new profile. If you click on an already existing profile that we have, Log All is one of them, and scroll to the bottom, we'll see that Bad Mojo is listed there also, but because it was pre-existing, it actually shows none for the action. This is the same action as custom URL categories. If you'd like to change it, click on it. You'll see an option here to alert, allow, block, continue, override, or none, and block in this example is what we'll do. In order to use this external dynamic list inside a security policy, go to Policies inside Security, click on a rule that you'd like to use it in, go to the Service URL category, click on Add, and you'll notice that the external dynamic lists are listed at the very top with Bad Mojo, the one that we created right there. In order to make this change effective, as always, you'll need to commit the change. That concludes this video. I hope that this has helped you understand the external URL block list in the new PanOS 7.1 better. We welcome all feedback and comments below. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe on YouTube.